Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, Nicholson. What is good, YouTube? Your boy Mel Nevison is back with a quick video. And today we got the Shoe Palace Bob Marley collaboration. I think this is the second time, or at least the second go around they did with um, Bob Marley and kind of representing what he did in the past, how he's influenced even countless people today, his music, very inspirational. And quite frankly, I, I couldn't choose a better time to actually do a video like this on the channel so <clears throat> with that said and done the, the item that i actually got from shoe palace was uh if i'm not mistaken it was the track jacket so they have different types of arrays it was a limited release if i'm not mistaken it's i think it's i'm pretty sure it's still available but they had different types of shirts you had jackets uh and this is all kind of inspired by if i'm not mistaken just shoe palace so i want to say ziggy marley bob marley's son had some plan to this. I know he was actually um, kind of showing it off in photography, which I thought was pretty cool. But let's kind of dive into this real quick because you, I, I'm going to explain what this shirt, who's on this shirt, because uh, it kind of ties into what this whole thing is about. But nonetheless, finally got in here. It comes in this nice plastic bag. If I'm not mistaken, this jacket is, and I want to say 100% polyester. Anything polyester typically last long. Mostly cotton kind of shrinks or breaks apart. Polyester is a good material for clothes and it does last long. So, kind of open this up so we can see what we're getting ourselves into. <clears throat> because Bob Marley, man, let me tell you right now. <laughs> I felt like his music, if I were to sum up Bob Marley, I felt like his music was kind of like an image of himself, right? So all the trials and tribulations he went through, he pretty much sung about, and you could kind of feel it through his music. His music had a lot of substance. So, you know, that's kind of what's missing, in, in my opinion, what's missing in today's type of music, at least different genres. But it's, it's so far and so few, that many people that can influence a lot of people, not just, you know, certain types of different genres, like people, fans around the world, straight impact. But let me just get this thing opened up real quick because you can see right here and actually let me just put this on here i like what what shoe pilots actually did by putting bob marley and associating with the ethiopian flag at least the, with, with the line on there and again i'll get into that in, in a second but let's open this thing up because this is whew, oh, i like this of course i will be trying this on and actually <clears throat> you'll probably see me trying it on here but i'm pretty sure what i'm gonna do is put like a separate video so you can see kind of me kind of fitting it on and you can go from there. But anyway, if you look on the back of this jacket, man, this is one of the most biggest details that I saw on it. And it was kind of like a, a big stitching of the lion that you would normally see on the Ethiopian flag. It's the kind of like a representation of it. I and mean, of course, Rastafarians, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Of course, Got the Jamaican little band right there. But anyway, this line is pretty much stitched on the back. And one of the things, or one of the songs that, that kind of comes to mind is, I'm going to be in iron like a lion in Zion. Um, <laughs> it, this Bob Marley song, look it up. You can Google it at, at, at your own time. But I felt like just seeing this kind of like, it, it, it completes the vision. You, you know, you see this and I, and I think immediately of, Rastafarian, at least the, the lifestyle. And the biggest thing is King Haile Selassie. Now, or people like to say Haile Selassie, whatever, it, it works either way. I will say this, when you look at the front, okay, you got the Jamaican flag on the front. And of course you see Bob Marley is actually sticked on there. The I think I might just put some pictures on there so you can see this kind of in detail. I don't know about the lighting source right here by Original lights right now are somewhere around the house, and I, I really don't look like going for it, but you know, it's, it's all good. But anyway, Bob Marley is on, he's written on the front of the jacket with five stars below. Um, the tag itself, of course, I'll rip this off, but it does say Bob Marley Shoe Palace. You can see right there the whole collaboration. Behind it is the message of Youth Peace Planet. Um, and in my opinion, it's kind of like topics that 
Bob Marley put great emphasis in, especially within his music. So this is a great representation of him. If I'm not mistaken, on the sleeve, oh yeah, on the sleeve itself. And again, I have a picture on here because I know this is very small, even for me to see. Um, there's a tag on here that reads, also peace, love. I want to say, oh, sorry, here we go. It says, shoe palace, one love. I can barely see this. But it has Bob Marley's picture on there on the sleeve, kind of on the tag. And of course, Buddha, the Ethiopian flag, which is right here. Now, I will say this, right? So two figures, at least in the music industry, when it came to Bob Marley. Uh, Bob Marley influenced a lot of people through his music. And I felt like King Haile Selassie did a lot during his term as a king, you know. He stressed the importance of knowledge, wisdom, kids, and started with the kids because they are the future, right? So you want them to be able to think for themselves. And if I were to grab a cell phone, I would grab it right now and tell people to put it down when needed, or sorry, when not needed, and, and be able to, at least this is, I'm talking about the kids of today. Learn to think for yourself, even adults, learn to think for yourself. But that's kind of what King Haile Selassie kind of pushed out there. Knowledge was one of the things that he kind of wanted to push through the community. Um, it's <laughs> it's one of the most underrated things in life, you know, especially when you can, again, think for yourself. So, so while King Haile Selassie influenced people through leadership, you know, Bob Marley influenced a lot of people through his music. But at the end of the day, they were both influential in their own way. So, again, shout out to Shoe Palace with this. And actually, let me open this up because I got the... Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. This thing opens up real smooth. On the inside. Oh, okay. I like what they did. Got a little tag right there, right? Of course, you see Bob Marley, Shoe Palace. Collaboration on the tag. Oh, man, this is going to be nice. You know what? Let me just put this on. I know I'll leave the tag on, but let me, of course, actually, they make it simple. They make it real simple. It's got a little pen on here just in case you need to take this off. Hopefully, I don't stab myself. <laughs> <laughs> because you can see right here, just be careful when you when you take this off because there is a pen on there. And I'm going to try to, like, you my way out of this. Put this down to the side. Let me try this on, man, because this is an extra large for anybody wondering. And I wanted to actually put this on and see if it was, like, a... Uh, too big, too small. Should I gotten a? Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Of course, it does have pockets on the side. They all zipper up. And actually, I'll show you guys as soon as I take this off. But, you know, this is nice. Feeling it. Definitely feeling it. Again, I am five. Anybody's wondering. My height. I'm five nine. I want to say 160, 70, maybe. That's stretching it <laughs> because I, I have high metabolism. So, you know, but I do work out a lot. I do work out a lot. But if, you, if you're trying to like size me up, that 5'9", kind of 5'9", five, 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 maybe 10 ish is kind of stretching it. But height wise, 5'9", and this is an extra large. So, hey, you do the math. My suggestion, anybody that's going to get these, um, at least the apparel, or if you get this jacket, I would suggest you, uh, if you like it kind of tight, not too tight, but you like it kind of like a t-shirt. So if you wear a large for your t-shirt, you can get, you can go away and kind of get a, a large for the, the jacket itself. If you like it loose, you might want to consider that whole 2X feeling. You know what I mean? 2X will give you a little bit more room. I know I like to wear certain things loose, but in this case, this is fine. So that's a shout out again to Shoe Palace. Really do appreciate it. I know that this, they weren't a lot made. It should be merchandise at least on their website. And if I'm not mistaken, a week ago or two weeks ago, when before this release, they did another collaboration for DMX. Uh, may he rest in peace um, because... I'm pretty sure that's on there as well. So it seems like Shoe Palace is kind of giving people the opportunity to represent uh, the music artists that we looked up to and those that have fallen. Uh, but they are actually just 
pretty much like everybody else, just looking over us and watching us uh, having a good time going through our trials and tribulations. But again, being fortunate that we're still alive and living life. But your boy, Mount Never Sent Mad. Shout out to everybody that is out there, everybody community. Thank you for the subscribes. Actually, thank you for subscribing, I should say. I almost choked on something, but <laughs> thank you. Pause. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Uh, I, I do... I do want to say that I will be doing some type of giveaway uh, either the week before Thanksgiving, most likely the week after Thanksgiving. I want to give people a chance to kind of focus on family, family first. Never forget that. And quite frankly, I'm looking forward to December. There will be more videos and stuff like that that I'll do. This week in particular was kind of busy for me, so I didn't get a chance to go out there um, and, and do certain things that I normally do. But rest assured that I probably will be back, hopefully. Hopefully, this Saturday. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because the schedule is kind of like wishy-washy. So I'm trying to do the YouTube thing and then do the real life thing and the father thing. You get what I'm saying. But your boy, Mel Never Sit Mad. I am out. It is Friday. You guys, stay blessed.